I'm Dr. Monica Kirapolsky, a board-certified dermatologist in Beverly Hills, California. I'm here today to talk to you about the hidden germs lurking in airports and airplane bathrooms. I love to travel. There's not much I like more than traveling. But every time I go through airport security and I'm on an airplane, I get freaked out because of all the germs that are spreading. Things called fomites or dead skin cells are everywhere in airports. They carry bacteria, virus, fungi, and you can transmit them from person to person. There have been numerous studies done around the world where researchers go and swab different surfaces within the airport and the airplanes. They look for something called CFU, colony forming units. And that's basically how many bacteria, fungi, and viruses are on different surfaces. The surprising thing is the highest number of CFUs, which can be up to a million of them, are on the self-check-in terminals at the airport. So where we all go in and touch that we're checking in and how many bags we're checking, those are gnarly and full of bacteria. Another area to be cautious of, and this grosses me out every time, are those little containers that we put our belongings in to go through security. They swab those and they are full of bacteria, full of viruses, and they found a lot of E. coli in those. E. coli is basically spread through fecal matter. So essentially you have other people's poop going through those things and you're touching it and touching your clothes and putting them on. The air dryers in bathrooms where we wash our hands and we dry them are also teeming with bacteria, viruses, fungi, and you can transfer them from one person to another. So try to use the paper towels, use your shirt. I avoid those air dryers at all costs whenever I'm in public. Another fun fact is that when you flush the toilet in a public restroom, in your own restroom, wherever, there's something called a toilet plume. And that is basically 60% of the aerosolized germs when you flush the toilet can be spread up to three feet from the toilet. So be cautious, turn away from the toilet before you flush it and make sure your pants are back on so that you don't get re-exposed to a bunch of viruses and fungi that have shot up through the toilet. Also, being a dermatologist, I treat a lot of foot fungus and foot warts, athlete's foot. Those are transmitted when we walk through airport security without our shoes on. So one tip I do, since I travel a lot, is I wear two pairs of socks. And after I go through airport security without my shoes on, I take that one pair of socks off, put them inside themselves, and keep my first set on so that I'm not transmitting the virus and the fungus from the floor into my shoes. Some other places to be aware of, of dirty surfaces are your seatbelt buckles, the handrails or handrests of your airplane seats, and the air vents above you. I recommend you bring wipes, like Clorox wipes or something that will kill germs, and, and they sell them everywhere, and just wipe down on all of those surfaces, including your tray table, before you get comfortable on your seat. The upside is that knowledge is power, and now that you have the knowledge of the places to be careful about, you can go in armed with Clorox wipes, hand sanitizer, all that good stuff, so that you could travel from one place to another and not get sick, not get warts, not get foot fungus, and have a good trip. I'm Dr. Monica Kirapolsky. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you in my office at some time in the future.